Hey fellow gamers, y you guys want to hear me make some Chewbacca noises? <laughs> don't ask me why I did that, because honestly, I don't fucking know why I did that. Hello everybody, welcome back to a brand new stankin' video. This week's team is a team I have been working on for quite a while now, and it's really fucking good. Like, they're, this is probably one of the best teams, and I know I say this often, one of the best teams that I've ever possibly come up with. And uh, there's a reason to that. And that reason is, what is good right now? No, seriously, what is good right now? The simple answer is priority spam and stopping priority spam, which this core absolutely does best. And that core is King Gambit, obviously enough. For Rigoraf, obviously enough. And Trick Room. Well, that's not a, a core, necessarily. That, that's not really part of the core. But you, you get the fucking point, all right? And of course, with Trick Room teams being on the rise, King Gambit is literally the answer to quite literally all of it. King Gambit has been good in the past. However, 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 it is probably its time to shine in Regulation F. And this match made in fucking hell is phenomenal. It is fucking great. Because not only is King Gambit a counter to Ferrigraph, you also have your own Ferrigraph on your team so you can prevent any other Pokemon from doing priority spam shit on you. So in other terms, it kind of works very, very similarly to some of the teams that have won recently within the most recent regionals. For example, uh, Wolfie VGC's team, he did something kind of similar, but not exactly the same, but the concept is there. And that idea obviously is to stop opposing uh, priority spam and to do your own priority spam while doing it. And that's exactly what this team is comprised of. However, with King Gambit, it is extremely slow. So, you automatically just win the fucking priority tie in Trick Room, which is fucking phenomenal. And it's a good counter to Free Graph, so that, that's just another Fortnite W for you right there. But before I get into all the, uh, you know, shilling myself out for capitalism, yippee, uh, I just want to say this. More fucking capitalism! We're going to be releasing merch sometime soon? I can't say exactly when yet. Uh, just know I have a bunch of different fucking badass um, drawings that I personally did um, that are going to be made into stickers and I'll maybe even leave some like um, like, some, like, like, like PNGs or something like that so you guys can do your own shit with them. Um, I'll think about it, but I'm not 100% sure. But there's some really cool designs. Check this one out. Check this one out. Check that one out. And check this one out. I think this one has to be my favorite so far. Uh, obviously enough, because, you know, it's Scizor as a fucking Gundam. And it has, you know, uh, Gubbymon in the way that um, the, uh, what was it, Mobile Suit Gundam uh, title is written out. And it's so fucking cool. I absolutely fucking love it. But that's just a little sneak peek for you guys. I don't exactly know when this stuff is going to be released, but I will let you know when that will be uh, happening. Just know it is a plan for the near future. But you know what you guys should do right now? If you, yes you, haven't already, make sure you go subscribe to Gubbymon on YouTube for more interesting VGC content with a little bit of added spice and that spice being autism, of course. And if you wouldn't mind, please plop a like on this video because it does help out the channel quite a bit. Let's get straight into them battles, guys. All right. Hold on, I gotta take these off, because I don't want these on anymore. <clears throat> I don't want it anymore, Bob! I don't want it on anymore! Alright, um, okay. <sighs> Give me a second. Okay, I think we're good. Alright. <laughs> I don't know why that took fucking forever, but it did. Um, th there was just, like, a little fucking, like, news feed that popped up on my, uh, Windows thing, because I accidentally clicked the wrong button. So, uh, yeah, that's what fucking happened. All right, let's get into this team. This team is fucking dope, all right? If you want to get wins, use this fucking team, because right now, in Regulation F, in uh, Scarlet and Violet, and Pokemon Showdown, it is currently King Gambit's game, all right? Neil VGC had this shit locked, all right? He had it on lockdown, all right? Uh, big, big, big shout out to him, by the way. Um, I don't know him, but, you know, he, he seems like a cool dude. Um, <laughs> anyways, so this team, 
has a lot of different fucking elements going on with it. And all of these Pokemon together work really, really well together. Like, surprisingly well. Like, you would look at this, like, motherfucker and be like, okay, what the fuck is this fucking, like, Shogun uh, gonna do with this fucking gorilla, right? They don't even come from the same fucking area, yet they still work together really, really well. Alright, uh, so... We got some uh, Furigraph shit. I, I, I've just been adding Furigraph on literally every single fucking team I've made. Uh, at least up to the one Furigraph video that I made with um, Reggie Steel. And it does really, really well still. Um, I, I don't see it slowing down anytime soon. So this is just my normal Furigraph set that I've been using uh, as of recently. Um, so there's nothing really too spectacular about it. Same thing with this Ogre Pond Wellspring set and this Rillaboom set. Same ones I've been using for quite a while. Landorus, however, I have not seen a ton of Landorus Incarnate or Landorus, Landorus Incarnate. What the fuck? Landorus Therian uh, as of recently, and there's a, a few reasons for that. Um, but the one main reason is it just isn't as fast anymore, especially with a lot of the Pokemon that came out during Regulation F and with like all the new DLCs and shit. Um, so, and it, I mean, it, not to say that it has a lot of counters, but it's just been around so long in the meta that it's starting to pick up a lot of counters and that's kind of an issue for it as where Landorus Incarnate is a special attacker, but it's also fast. So it's quite literally almost the exact opposite of, uh, Landorus T in the way of like how it attacks and everything like that. Um, it's not like too much faster but most of the time uh because you're using like sheer force life orb on this thing it's gonna do a lot more damage than it would with landorus um therian so that's why people are starting to run that instead of lando t um and then we got king gambit the star of the show um this thing's fucking cool i absolutely fucking love this thing i used to shit on this thing because i was like man this thing fucking sucks uh, but it does not. It really does good. It really, really, really does. Um, and for this set, I have Kowtow Cleave, uh, just in case I can't do, like, priority shit with, like, Sucker Punch and, you know, fun shit like that. Um, it's also got Iron Head, Terra Blast, because this thing is Terra Water, which I know is a pretty interesting Terra type, but believe it or not, it works in a lot of different cases. Um, so, I mean, there you go with that. Uh, and then we have a salt vest on this thing, which is actually really interesting because if I remember correctly, I don't think that's like the most common item on it. I could be wrong. Uh, let me check real quick. Uh, what are we looking for again? Uh, King Gambit. Okay, hold on. King Gambit. Here he is. Here's our boy. Uh, King Gambit. Yeah, black glass is currently the number one item. And then at 27.178%, uh, you have a salt vest. So it's the second most used item, but it, it's, it's, it's pretty uh pretty good with assault vest so i don't really like to change it all that much because it really doesn't need to um and most of the time you're not really running terra blast either i noticed um most of the time you're just doing like priority plus like sword stance shit sometimes iron head that's like its fifth most common move so realistically i think this is a pretty interesting step because it gives you a little bit more coverage with the water um water type so you're using it not only as a defensive terror type, but you're also using it as an offensive terror type. And that's really unique about this thing. And it, it, it's, it's really good. It's really good. Um, it, it's a trick room sweeper for sure. But um, there just isn't a lot of Pokemon that is that are like slower than this thing. Or at least faster in trick room. If we're talking about trick room. But nonetheless, uh, we got Gouging Fire. Gouging Fire is a Pokemon that I have been advocating for for a very long time. And it still does good. It still does miracles. And I'm actually quite surprised about it. Not really. Because this thing gets a really cool, like, protect type move. Uh, which, instead of dealing damage like Spiky Shield does, Burning Bulwark actually um, protects. But if the enemy or opponent or whatever the fuck makes contact with you, they get burned. Which is really, really cool. Um, so... And Dragon and Fire and Fire or Fire and Dragon, Dragon Fire, whatever it fucking works, uh, is usually really good coverage anyway. Um, so it, it, it's usually top tier most of the time, uh, at least within like tournaments and stuff. 
And then you get like Dragon Dance. Dragon Dance is really nice, especially when you pair it with like Clear Amulet. Anything with Clear Amulet plus like setup moves uh, does really, really good right now. Which is kind of weird because like setup stuff like fell off for a while. Um, especially in regulation E and D, I think, uh, if I'm, if, if, if I'm not mistaken, because everything was just doing a lot of like priority spam shit, especially with like Chien Pao and, um, what was it? There was one I was thinking of in specific, but I can't, Dragonite, that's what it was, Dragonite. Um, so it fell off for a while and then it kind of gained resurgence in regulation F. Like, even, like, in the very beginnings of Reg Regulation F with, like, Ferrigraph, um, like, uh, what the fuck is it? Incineroar, Rillaboom, uh, Urshifu Rapid Strike. Even Urshifu Single Strike, uh, which is now a thing, I guess. I, I don't fucking know why. I don't think it's as good. It's four times weak to Fairy. Imagine being four times weak to a fucking Barbie doll. But, nonetheless. Um, <laughs> I, I don't think it's as good. I'm not gonna lie. So... Anything with really clear amulet and, um, like, setup shit it does really, really well in this meta. And um, that's really all I have to say about this team. Because this team, I've been working on this team for quite some time now. And it just seems to do, like, miraculous things. Because it, it, it's just it's just fucking good. It, the synergy with this team works really, really fucking well together. Um, you don't have a fairy type, believe it or not, which is kind of unique because everybody, when I say everybody is running this thing, everybody is running it. Literally, I don't think there's ever a fucking team without it. Yeah. Fluttermane, 59.44% people are fucking using this thing. Um, and there is no Fluttermane on this team, like at all. The only fairy, fairy type that you could really even say is a fairy type, I guess, is Ferrigraph with Terra Fairy. And even then, sometimes it's not even necessary to really terrestrialize. Sometimes you want to go for, like, Terra Water King Gambit or Terra Ground Rillaboom or Terra Grass Gouging Fire. Um, so it's, it's really all dependent on what the situation is at that current moment. So with that being said, uh, let's get straight into a game, I guess. Hey, speaking of fucking priority spam shit, this is the perfect team to test this on. Um... <laughs> Especially because, what? Okay, so we have this thing, priority spam, priority spam, priority spam, priority spam. Uh, yeah, four of these mons are, I know we're going to use priority spam. So, realistically, what I think I'm going to do here is go into Furograph, go Terra, terra Fairy Furograph. I know I said it's not really common to uh, terrestrialize Furograph, but... Sometimes it is. Sometimes it is necessary. And this is one of those cases. So I think that's actually what I'm going to do here. I'm going to do for a graph. Um, I might just end up doing Ogre Pond Wellspring here. Uh, and then having King Gambit in the back. And then we'll do Lando uh, in the back too. Ogre Pond. Okay. Entei. Cool. Okay. So I don't I, I don't think I need to Terrasalize here. Uh, which is actually really nice. Um, I think here though... Uh, I should probably Ivy Cudgel onto Entei, and that should KO, but because most, I don't remember if this thing is very bulky. Oh, maybe not. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. Snarl. Okay. That, that's fine. Okay. Okay. Ivy Cudgel. Okay. I'm kind of surprised that did that much damage. Um, let's do maybe, um... Maybe, maybe, maybe we just go for the Dazzling Gleam, and then pfft, let's go, like, Spiky Shield. I think that's our best option right now, right? Okay, that didn't do a lot of damage, but that's okay. Snarl, that's fine. Okay, cool. Um, Horn Leech, that's okay. You deal damage. Um, I th think here we're just going to have to go into King Gambit and then do that kind of shit. Go Terra Water and hopefully they don't have Terra Blast. I don't think they will, but you never fucking know. So, what I'm going to do is Horn Leech here so I can gain a little bit of HP off. Uh, there's King Gambit. Cool. Okay, that worked perfectly. Snarl, that's fine. Um, and then I think... Do I want to do Iron Head here? Or do I want to... Because um, if I go Iron... If I do Iron Head here... That ensures that I do a little bit more damage than I would with Sucker Punch, I'm pretty sure, right? 
uh base power 70 yeah but it doubles if uh they uh or it doesn't double or no 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 it doesn't i'm thinking of something else um let's let's do iron head i think and then we'll go okay that actually did a lot more damage than i thought it was going to sacred fire that's fine burn okay cool okay so we'll do this this is what we're gonna do this is what we're gonna do we're gonna do this and then we're gonna go straight into horn leech because that should in that that should basically mean we get entei off the field and we get ogre pond wellspring off the field so that's what i'm assuming anyway so oh sucker punch no okay okay that's interesting that oh because it followed me ah yeah i see now okay <laughs> okay you know what here this is what i'm gonna do there's an idea here Th there's still an idea here and i think we could plausibly win still okay cool 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 here this is where we sludge bomb i think uh flutter mains faster so i think that's the bigger threat currently and eh, maybe not maybe not maybe not I think we take out Entei, and then we switch out for, to for Graph. Yeah, that's probably the best move we can do here. Yeah. All right, cool. There we go. That takes out Entei. And then we'll do Trick Room here. And then uh, we'll, we'll protect. And that means they can't do any, like, cheap shit with, like, Sucker Punch or anything, which is really nice. Uh, are they going to? Nope. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, survive? No. Damn. Damn, damn, damn um let's see um here we can just sludge bomb i guess um and then i guess we could ivy cudgel we could follow me here but that just uh, i don't know i really don't know for that um mm, damn we might actually lose this game it's plausible that we could win, but I, I'm I'm not. It's not looking good. Um, okay, they keep like leaving and joining. It's just kind of annoying. Okay, there we go. Lando, bye, Lando. Fuck it. All right, all right. Yeah, we lost. All right, cool. Um, so you kind of get the idea of the team. Like, for graphs here for like priority spam shit, uh, or to like block that shit out, and to um like just set up trick room, do a shit ton of damage in trick room. Uh, King Gambit's just there for priority shit on our end, um, and then everything else is more so for, like, support and fun shit and, you know, whatever not. So, yeah, let's get straight into another game, guys. Cool! Okay, this is an interesting team. Um, with this, I kind of have to assume that this is Urshifu Single Strike. Because I already have Ogre Pond Wellspring here, and I don't really think that Ogre Pond Wellspring and Urshifu Rapid Strike pair well together, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, and then you have Insin, uh, Chrysalia, Golden Go. This is definitely a Trick Room team. Uh, so what we could do is do this, right? And then on top of that, we have um, let's do. I'm thinking maybe like King Gambit actually, because that gets rid of you. Uh, but we can go. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Hold on, because they could do some crazy shit here uh, if I do that. Uh, so I'll do Ogre Pond. I'll then I'll have King Gambit in the back, and then maybe we have Lando. Yeah, we're gonna have Lando. I think Lando's a good asset here. Um, maybe other than like Crisalia. Um, yeah. Okay. We 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 did something good here. Okay. Cool. So here, I think I'm gonna go Terra Fairy, and then um. We'll just helping hand onto Ogre Pond, and then we'll go Ivy Cudgel on Incineroar, and then they can't fake out here, right? Yeah, they can't fake out because there's a priority of plus one, I think it is, or plus yeah, it's plus one, it's plus one. Uh, so they can't really do anything. There's not really much they can do, um, outside of maybe like Flare Blitz or something. Ivy Cudgel, okay, Water Absorb. Damn, 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 damn. Knock off. Okay, that's gonna deal damage anyway, and that's gonna be knocked off fuck uh we'll do dazzling gleam here and then we will uh horn leech onto ogre pond yeah okay good there we go there we go parting shot that's okay um 
that was kind of a weird um, idea. Uh, Thunderous, okay, that's fine. That's fine with me. Um, here, 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 here. How fast is Thunderous, actually? 179, 81, 131. Okay. Um, we can set up Trick Room here. I'm a little hesitant, though, but I think I might anyway. Fuck it, why not? Um, do Horn Leech again, just so that way we can... No, okay. Damn. Uh, ooh, damn, okay. We're gonna set up the Trick Room anyway, though. That's nice. I don't think they realized that, or they must have forgot that Furgraph's ability does that shit. Uh, and then we'll do Dazzling Gleam here again, and then we'll Horn Leech again. Fuck it, why not? Um, it just makes the most sense. The fuck did I do? I don't even know what I fucking did there. Okay. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ, I'm a fucking idiot. All right. Um, yeah, there's not really much they can do here. Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, fine. Fine, fine, fine. Taunt. <laughs> they keep trying to do it. Why? Do, are they just... Do they just not realize? Do they do they just just not realize what's what's going on here? I don't, I don't think they realize what the fuck is going on. Just kind of funny. Here, I'm going to Helping Hand, Ogre Pond, and then Ivy Cudgel on Incineroar. Just so that way we can get it out of the fucking way. Because I'm kind of sick and tired of this fucking thing. There we go. Okay, cool. Okay, Parting Shot, that's fine. I have Helping Hand on. Uh, what do we got? Ogre Pond, fine. Damn! They're switching. They're, 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 they know what they're doing, I think. Uh, we'll, we'll do this. And then... Do Horn Leech. Fuck it, why not? Spiky Shield. Fuck! Alright. Um, we'll do Psychic, I guess. Uh, uh, I don't know what to fucking do here. <sighs> this is gonna be a long game. It's already turn 7 and nobody's Pokemon has been knocked out yet. <laughs> okay. Resisted, if that's fine. Ivy Cudgel. There you go. Deals a little bit of damage. Okay. Uh, okay. All right. We lost that Pokemon. Cool. All right. We'll do King Gambit here. Um, and then we'll go Trick Room and then, uh, Sucker Punch on the Golden Go. But they can't do any, um, priority shit. So that's going to be nice too. Uh, Protect. Okay. Cool. Sucker Punch failed. Ivy Cudgel. That's fine. Trick Room. There we go. Cool. Now we have that back up. Uh, we'll do that, and then we'll go Sucker Punch on the Golden Go again. Um, it's unlikely they're going to protect again here. Oh, okay, they're going to switch. Buck. Okay, 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 okay. I see you. Sucker Punch failed. Okay. Yeah, King Gibbs gone. Fuck. <laughs> All right. Um, I love how I said this team gets wins, but then I lose like twice in a row. I absolutely fucking love that. Um, not really. I guess we're going to do that and then... <sighs> Sandseer Storm. <laughs> Fuck it, why not? 150, 178. So you could be faster here. Nope. I don't think they realize what the fuck is going on. I actually don't. There we go. Okay. All right. Now we're on even playing field. All right. We might win this. Because they have Golden Go, right? Yeah, and Thunderous. Okay. Yeah, we we could win this. We could win this. Um, I don't know how likely it is, but it's likely enough to say that we could. Yep. I don't think they realize what the fuck is going on here. Um, because they've done this, like, multiple times already, and they still have not figured it out. So, fair enough. <laughs> uh... I think here we actually protect, because I think we're actually faster than this Tornadoes, which is weird, right? Hold on. Uh, taunt. Okay, so it's Prankster Taunt stuff. Oh, okay, never mind. Well, <laughs> I guess they forfeited. F fair enough. Uh, they didn't have to forfeit. I, I don't know why they forfeited. They literally could have won here, uh, because the they were only not hitting Taunt. Because they have Prankster, plus I have Ferrograph. <laughs> so, 
anything that has priority that goes against my team when Ferrigarath is on the field doesn't fucking work. Just so, just in case you guys don't fucking know that, because apparently there are still people out there that don't fucking know that. Uh, j just as a heads up, <laughs> because I've seen this multiple fucking times, and people just get really fucking pissy about it, and will either just time stall the fuck out of you, or, or, they, they'll just forfeit, like, automatically. They'll see it for a graph and just go, alright, fuck it, yeah, fuck this shit, uh, or, 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 you know, they'll, they'll just be like, what, why isn't my taunt working, dude? Why isn't, why, why isn't fucking, um, anything fucking working with priority? Why isn't Aqua Jet working? It's because, it's because I have fucking plot armor, bitch. Anyways, um, let's get straight into the next game. I need a sip of G Fuel, uh, before, uh. This game because I got a little bit of a, I, I had a little bit of a rage quit moment there. Well, not rage quit, but you know, I had, I had a little bit of a a gamer moment. All right. Anyways, uh, if you want to know what G Fuel I'm drinking, I'm drinking this one. It's a Binding of Isaac uh, exclusive one. It's really fucking good. Uh, what fucking flavor is it? I think it's like grape and or white grape and pineapple. Um, but it's fucking blue. What fucking pineapple or grape do you know is fucking blue? Like, this, like, fucking chemical blue, alright? I don't fucking know either. Anyways, uh, what do we got? Polyrath. Okay, Polyrath and Polytoad. I think this is a game for Rillaboom. I really do. Um, we also got some other shit in here. So, I think we're gonna do, uh, King Gambit, or, yeah, Frigraph, Ogre Pond, King Gambit, and Rillaboom. That just makes the most sense to me. Uh, what do we got? What do we got? Polytoad. Uh, probably Wrath. Okay, cool. Either way, I don't think you're really going to be hitting much of anything. Uh, we'll do Dazzling Gleam here, and then we'll go Horn Leech onto Polytoad. Uh, because if I set up Trick Room, I'm fucked. Right? Liquidation? Okay, that's fine. Yeah, that that's fine. Okay. <laughs> okay. I, I think this is an, I think this is a win. Right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Okay, and then Dazzling Gleam here, that almost O-code, I'm very surprised it actually did not, uh, we'll do that, and then I guess we'll do Follow Me, I guess, fuck it, why not, uh, what did Polyrath use last fucking turn, I think it was, oh, it was Liquidation, cool, okay, that works, Hurricane, fine, and then guess what, hit you with a 1-2, there you go, Okay, now you're almost at 51, 50%. I, I, you're literally at 51%. All right, fuck it. You're, you're at 50%. Um, we could just do Dazzling Gleam here, and then uh, we'll, we'll do uh, Horn Leech onto Walking Wake. Or not. Okay, that's that's fine, too. Luster Purge. Okay, that's fine, too. Okay. Because we still have Rillaboom in the back, and then we have fucking King Gambit, and you don't have any uh, priority stopping shit, so that's kind of nice. Uh, we'll do Grassy Glide here, and then we'll do Sucker Punch here, we'll just do fucking, <laughs> we'll just fucking <laughs> priority spam the shit out of you until you're fucking done. Ooh, okay, 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 you're gonna be faster, but that doesn't matter because I have priority, and priority takes priority over speed because, you know, priority. Um, uh, let's do Grassy Glide, I guess, I don't fucking know, and then we'll do Sucker Punch, fuck it, why not? Uh, unless they just stall me out with a bunch of fucking, like, Tailwind and fucking... What was the other move they had? Uh, oh, Luster Purge, Tailwind. Okay, so, uh, maybe Calm Mind? No. Lust... Is Luster Purge physical? Hold on. Uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. uh, Luster Purge. Let's see. I fucking spelt that wrong. Oh, no, it is... Okay, it's special. Luster Purge is special. Okay, cool. So, yeah, there's not really much you can do here. <laughs> okay, yeah, okay, cool. Uh, that was a good game. That was a very good game, actually. Uh, we only, yeah, we lost two Pokemon, but it was only because, um, I think the Walking Wake did more damage than anything, right? Yeah, okay, yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, let's get straight into the last game. All right, what do we got? Uh, fuck! I fucking hate these teams. I 
Every time I see one of these fucking teams, it makes me want to cry. I fucking hate dance teams. All right? If you don't know what a fucking dance team is, it's so fucking boring. Because they come up every fucking where. And they're just not good teams most of the time. Most of the time, they're just not very well put together. Yeah, they get, what was it, co-star? Yeah, and then you have, like, this fucking bullshit with the, uh, the quiver dance shit. And then usually there's an Oricorio. Usually it's the electric one. But this one, they have the ghost one, which is kind of interesting. Uh, yeah, and they get all this other, like, stat boost shit. And it's a bunch of fucking bullshit. So, what we're going to do here is for a graph, all right? And then we're going to go Terra Fairy, and then we're going to have Ogre Pond. And then, what we're going to do is, um, mm, let's do, like, uh, mm, we could do Lando here. And then, just in case, we're going to have Rillaboom. It sounds weird, but we're going to have Rillaboom. All right, what do we got? Bowser Jr., Mary Poppins. Okay. <laughs> fair enough. Fair, fair, fair. Okay, so there's one thing we can do here. We can trick room here. Actually, maybe not. Mm, maybe not. That's not a big That's not a good idea, actually. Uh, we'll do helping hand here, and then we'll just um, Ivy Cudgel Bowser Jr. over here. Yep, cool. Okay, after you. That's fine. 15%. I will take that. 42%. Jesus. All right. Cool. Uh, I guess. Uh, what do we do here? I think we do Lando. I think we do Lando here, and then we go Spiky Shield, and then they're just gonna keep doing this after you bullshit, right? Right? No, they're not. Okay, interesting enough. Okay, Spiky Shield. Here we go. How did that Oko? Okay. How did that one shot? How did that actually one shot? Okay. I fucking hate this shit. Uh, we'll do we'll, we'll do fake out here. There we go, and then we'll go straight onto Spiky Shield. Watch and learn. Ready? There's an idea here. Got the fake out. There we go. After you, guess what? You flinched. <laughs> you just wasted a turn. And then what we're gonna do here is stomping tantrum. All right, all right. And then did I? Did I spiky shield here? Yes, I did. Okay, cool. Uh, we'll go. Uh, we'll do this. Fuck it. Why not? After you. Yeah, after you. Bullshit. Yeah, fuck it off. All right. Ooh. Okay, we have Ferrigraph with like 10 HP left. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Great. Lovely. Absolutely love this fucking bullshit. Um, sure. Why not? We're going to lose anyway. Yeah, okay, cool. Um,. You see what I mean? I absolutely fucking hate those teams. They're so fucking annoying. Anyways, um, I guess I might as well end the video off here. <laughs> Alright. With that being said, guys, that was the last battle. And if you, yes you, haven't already, make sure you go subscribe to Gubbymon on YouTube for more interesting VGC content. A little bit of added spice, and that spice being autism, of course. And if you would, please plop a like on this video, because it does help out the channel quite a bit. And I will see you in next week's video. Adios.